morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. Who's excited for Thurby, huh? Six o'clock right now on this Thursday as we say good morning to you from the backside of Churchill Downs. A lot of horses already out on the track, but all the heavy lifting has been done. They're just kind of walking around, getting used to things. Good morning. I'm Shannon Kogan alongside meteorologist Tawana Andrew. And we have so much coming up in this hour, including a live interview with the great Dale Roman, the trainer here, of course, very recognizable at Churchill Downs. So we'll get his thoughts on the Kentucky Derby. And really excited about that and really excited about the weather for today. Once again, Brian Good standing right in between us this morning. <laughs> I see you're just trying to get in the middle of our shot. I understand. I understand. Right, right. Exactly. All right. Trying to get in between there. Uh, Two fills. We were talking about two fills earlier. It just came out a few moments ago. I really think that may be a sign. Could be a sign. Hey, it is a, it's a cold setup here today, but not as windy as it has been really all week. So that makes a huge difference uh, as you head out early this morning, whether it's at the work or the school. But if you're heading to the track, Boy, by the time you get here when the gates open, it is going to be warming up fairly quick. So keep that in mind. Current temperature outside at 45. Likely to believe the coldest will be here for this morning, at least here in Louisville. But we're still looking at a warm third week setup today. I'll have an updated look at Oaks and uh, the Oaks rain chance. It may go into Derby as well. Come up in a few minutes. All right, 45 degrees here, 30s outside of the city limits. Maybe a little bit of patchy frost in some areas. Again, plenty of sunshine. The next 12 big spike in those temperatures, the 60s and 70s, as we head into this afternoon, right around 74 looks to be the high. I'll be back again with the future cast on that Oaks Rain Chance in just a few more minutes. Shane Antoine. Thanks so much. It is 601, and we have the great trainer here, Dale Romans, who, uh, funny story real quick, you've lost a lot of weight after you had surgery, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and we were at the airport, and, and I was sitting there, and I said, that is so weird. That guy looks exactly like Dale Romans. <laughs> But it's not. And then you come up and go, hey, guys. Yeah. I mean, I've known you for 25 years. I guess that's a good compliment. I don't know people are saying, uh, yeah, they don't even recognize me. Yeah. 140 pounds. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Gastric sleeve surgery. That was a way to go for me. I couldn't do it on my own. So some people say I cheated, but it's all right. I'm feeling good. Yes, absolutely. All right. So you have a cyclone mischief sitting right at 21 right now. Potential to get in the derby. That must be a frustrating position to be in. It's a tough spot because, you know, most these guys are my friends that are in the race, and for, for me to get in, one of them has to have a really bad day. And, and I hate to wish that on anybody, but if it happens, we're primed and ready. A lot of people like your horse. Yeah. Think if yeah. Cyclone Mischief gets in, he could do well. He could. There he goes right there. And uh, he's doing super. He's a really talented horse. You know, he just turned three the last day of April. And uh, so he's young. He's been playing a little catch-up his whole life. And I think right now he's better than he's ever been. And in terms of everything going on as we get closer to the Derby, what's, what's your focus, even though you're just outside, what's your main focus as we look forward? We're, we're training like we're running. Mm -hmm. You know, we're acting like we're in. And uh, that's all you can do. And if something happens we don't, then we'll probably just stay on track and go to Preakness. You don't mm -hmm. think you put him in any other race this year? You, no. no, you really can't. By the, by the rules, I would have put him in the Fat Day Mile for uh -huh. Saturday. But by the Kentucky rules, if you're in one race, you can't enter in another, even if you're not actually in the body of the race. So. I rolled the dice and, you know, we, had a, we entered a week out, so we rolled the dice that someone would come out out of the 20 and, and we'd get in. Okay, and if you do get in, who's your jockey? I'm not sure yet. we got to talk about that. One of the things we're waiting on is see if we get in, somebody comes out, so a jockey comes available. So we're going to leave everybody's uh, name in the hat. Joel Rosario's name right now, but that's mostly just paperwork because you have to name a rider. And if you write, name one that's already in the body of the race, that means you can change it with no problem. he's on disarm right now. He's on disarm. If disarm scratch, we'd love to, we'd love to have Joel. But... <laughs> If, uh, if not, that's a, this arms is never one call, and uh, we'll have to find a rider. But we're going to wait and see who comes out. So we've had a very sad situation at Churchill Downs with four horses who have been died or been euthanized after racing on the track. And what are your thoughts on that? You know, it's really uh, tragic. Two, two by trainer Joseph. Sophie Joseph, yeah. It, it's, I mean, it doesn't matter who the trainer is. It's a terrible situation any time that that happens. We all love the horses. That's why we're here. I mean, it's too hard to work and, and for too little money not to be a labor of passion. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a part of the business, and we're working hard to try to minimize the injuries. And we've got it down. We've got it down a whole lot. I don't know what happened this rash for this week, but we even had a couple over at Keeneland. 
Hopefully it's just an anomaly and it'll pass and we'll have a long time with a lot of healthy racing. You don't have any concerns about the turf here? Has been no, I, I talked to Corey Lanner yesterday, which I think has as good an opinion as anybody in the game, and he says the turf feels really good to him. He didn't think the, the turf was the problem at all. And Corey Lanner is the jockey. Yeah, he's the yeah. jockey, Corey Lanner. He's been out there on it, and he, you know, he knows, and he's, he's willing to step up and speak if he doesn't think it's uh, it's right. But he said he really didn't believe it was the surface. All right. Well, Dale, we'd Thank love you. to see you in the Derby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm you're, hoping, you're very hoping. loved here in Louisville, <laughs> yeah. and, and everyone wants to jump in that winner's circle with well, you one day soon. If we get in, we'll have a big party. You know that. I Four know three, that. Five, here we come. <laughs> we'll hop Woo! into that party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dale. Appreciate it. Thanks. Of course, and yesterday was Champions Day as we celebrated all things Secretariat. And so many people came out saying that even though maybe they weren't alive when Secretariat ran, they still know a lot about them. It's an absolutely beautiful day as well, weather-wise, with all of that, with so many people coming out to celebrate Champ Champions Day here at Church Hill Downs. And, of course, it's not just Secretariat, but we have so many other historic horses that we are celebrating as we continue throughout this we week. We do, and Kathleen Ninke and Josh Ninke are joining us live to tell us more about one of them. Hi, guys. So it's the 35th anniversary of winning Colors Derby win. The year was 1988, and so far only two Phillies ever had won the Derby. The Hall of Fame trainer Wayne Lucas, though, knew he had a special lady who could get it done. He sure did. I talked with one of the fantastic tour guides at the Kentucky Derby Museum who explained to me why winning Colors win is still so special to so many. And, and here's this plaque talking about his girl winning colors. Yeah, his girl winning colors. Winning colors is stamped on trainer D. Wayne Lucas's heart, as well as his barn. Kind of became a running joke that he would never win the Kentucky Derby because all the time he would run three, four horses in the race, none of them would ever end up winning. And he was so confident in winning colors coming into that year, she was the only one that he ran in the race. And she was a filly, and only two fillies had won the Derby before. Why would D. Wayne Lucas take a chance on her being his only horse that year? He would take a chance because he knew from the moment that he saw her. He said that as soon as he saw her out there in the sales ring, his heart just started pounding. What would he have seen in her? What was it? Well, she was massive. She was actually nicknamed the Amazon. But she wasn't all size. She had spirit, too. When she was here for the Derby leading up to the race itself while they were getting saddled in the paddock, she was actually kind of lunging at all the male horses trying to bite at them, trying to intimidate them a little bit. So that way they wouldn't want to pass her when they saw her out there on the racetrack. They were too afraid of her at that point. So winning colors, Kentucky born and bred. She's a Kentucky lady. Kentucky born and bred, just like most of Derby winners. Speaking of that Derby win. 49er came up to her right as they're getting to the finish line. And down the stretch they come. Winning colors in front. Here comes 49er on the outside. Gary Stevens just gives her a little bit more of a chirp, lets her out a little bit more. She just digs in. She wins the race by a head. So he knew that he had it in the bag the whole time. And poor Pat Day, he found out a little bit too late that he wasn't going to get by winning colors. Why? should we remember winning colors today? There have been dozens and dozens of Derby winners. Why is winning colors special? Well, part of the reason why she is so special is because she is the last filly that won the Kentucky Derby. Kind of a great reminder that the girls can hold their own against the boys when they run against them and that they're just as competitive and they're just as good as the boys. And when you have that star filly, they should come out here and take a shot at the roses. And a bit of history. Uh, did not go on to win the Triple Crown. Placed third in the Preakness. Uh, didn't even place in uh, Belmont. But still a memorable, memorable run in that three-year-old year. Um, these days, it's, it's even rarer, mm -hmm. it seems like, for a Philly to win the Derby because so few are ever entered because we have the Kentucky Oaks. So usually you run your great Philly in the Oaks. Before we toss over to meteorologist Brian Good, I have to talk about another incredible lady besides winning colors. That is Susie Dobson and mother of meteorologist Jessica Dobson, who made my Thurby Fascinator for me this year. How great is this, Brian? Um, yeah, I saw when uh, Jessica was bringing it in, and I said, your mom made that? She said, yeah, so that, how cool is that? So it is absolutely beautiful. So uh, thanks for her for doing that. Hey, uh, busy out here on the track this morning, the next 12 hours featuring cold weather this morning, but we're going to make up for it in a big way. Temperatures will get into the 60s and 70s as we have a beautiful setup. And here is... Couldn't read it.
can read. I'm getting old. I can't read it. We got an Oaks contender out there, but I'm too old to read it, guys. But we'll take a closer look at the track and, of course, the latest on the Oaks rain chance coming up here in just a few minutes. <laughs> Times they're gone by rather quickly. There is an amazing place on the backside here. It's called the Backside Learning Center. We're going to tell you all that they do there, really helping so many of the workers here. And we're taking a live look at Churchill Downs from our SkyTrack camera as the sun slowly starting to come up. We're going to have much more of Sunrise at the Downs after the break. Your 10-day earliest alert forecast on WAVE is sponsored by Services Roofing, Gutters, and Siding. Start your evening with what's happening now, exclusive investigations, and the most accurate forecast. Watch Myra, John, and Kevin. Weeknights at 5 and 6 p.m. on WAVE. There's such a large selection. There's lots to go around. There's something here for everyone, so bring them all right now. Join our one big happy family at Charlie Wilson. At Charlie Wilson Appliance. Join the thousands of families who have trusted the Zero Res experts to achieve an insanely clean and healthy home. For a limited time, enjoy this special offer. Schedule today at ZeroResLouisville.com. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. They tried to intimidate me and my family. I stood strong then, and I won't back down now. That's why over 100 law enforcement leaders have endorsed my campaign. And I'm President Trump's candidate, too. I support tough prosecution, tough sentencing, and tough enforcement. Kentucky law enforcement knows I have their back, and they have mine. I'm Daniel Cameron. We need a governor who backs the blue, and that's exactly the kind of governor I'll be. Hey, it's Derby Days. I'm Tim Jones, back for Toyota of Louisville. Now, new vehicles are arriving daily. Come in and reserve yours now. On the pre-owned lot, we've got a great selection of cars, trucks, SUVs, late model, low mileage vehicles that qualify for low bank rate financing. And we offer second chance finance. Past credit problems? Come by and let's see if we can't help you. We've helped thousands of folks. So come see us seven days a week on Dixie Highway or log on to toyotaoflouisville.com, a Swope dealership where nobody walks away. Don't you join our one big happy family at Charlie Wilson's Appliance. Join our one big happy family at Charlie Wilson. At Charlie Wilson's Appliance. This isn't just a truck. It's a get you ready, storm or shine, absolute unit on wheels. Our storm tracker on the road as it heads into the storm. Cut down to the detail, capture it all, storm tracking machine. That's a live feed from the storm tracker. Built to keep you safe. We helped push her car out of the water. With tools like live onboard radar, 360 degree live streaming cameras, giving you a real time view of what's happening now. The Wave Storm Tracker, sponsored by Oxmoor Ford. Hey, things are going to happen, but if something happens to your heating and cooling system, make sure you know who to call. We offer zero interest financing for 72 months. It's hard to stop a train. Again with these man children. Call Chapman Heating and Cooling now. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $6,500 off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. This newscast is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. There's only one. This is Wave News Sunrise. We have a lot of celebrities coming into town, including these guys right here. Do you recognize them? It's the Budweiser Clydesdales. They're in Bardstown for Derby Week. Look how beautiful they, they are. They're going to be at my old Kentucky Home State Park through tomorrow. A parade featuring the horses is scheduled to go through downtown Bardstown at 5 tonight. They're just gigantic. They are. I would be so tiny next. I look like yes, a toddler. You would. <laughs> it would look just like that real toddler just right there. Like that real toddler. <laughs> So cute. I love that. And uh, for anybody heading out here this morning, keep in mind it is a little bit chilly. Brian, I've noticed every live shot, I've been seeing everyone's breath, including yours this morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it is certainly uh, kind of a cool setup here in the morning hours. Uh, we're not the coldest in the area, but certainly temperatures right now into the mid 40s in many spots. But uh, it's not affecting 
Any of the horses, that's for sure. They're loving this. It is busy out here. I think that was Wonder Wheel, by the way. They came by one of the Oaks contenders not too long ago on the track. It was out yesterday as well. All right, a beautiful shot there at Churchill Downs. Current temperature at 45 degrees at the moment, but we don't have a strong wind, so that's that's good. It, it, it feel a chill, but it's without the wind, it really makes it much easier to deal with. Uh, we've got temperatures in the 30s. Again, outside the city limits, mid-30s in many spots. Still won't run out. A little bit of frost as we head into uh, part of this morning, especially if you head out uh, early on here. You may see a little bit, a little bit of a light scrape, nothing major on that. Otherwise, otherwise nice and clear outside. Thirby looks excellent. This is a great setup here today, guys. Plenty of sunshine. With such dry air right now, temperatures will climb several degrees per hour, getting us into the 70s this afternoon. I think it's still going to be one of the best thirbies uh, we've had here. All right, t temperatures and the setup for Oak State. This is where problems start. I think overall the day is going to be dry, but it will be overcast, and the overcast is going to get more gray and a little more on the gloomy side as the day evolves. So you may start off with some hazy sunshine. But you'll notice just the overall look of the day will get cloudier and cloudier. Temperatures will still be able to climb. We'll get in, in the 60s. Could even go in the 70s. It's possible. But at the same time, we will be tracking a batch of rain that will be scooting across the southern part of the state. How close that gets to Louisville is the biggest question. Will it evaporate before it gets here or will it make it all the way into the track? This is the most recent run of Futurecast, by the way, you're looking at. And you just saw there... It's really moving it more to the south now, not much of the rain chance. So we'll keep that chance low because right now there's more of an opportunity to have a dry setup than a wet one. So that's a good thing, but the cloud cover may be the biggest store on our side on that. As we get into Derby Day itself, we'll have some light rain in the region. I don't see that being widespread at all. The clouds will be the toughest part as we end up or to uh, Derby Day, trying to break up. The quicker that happens, the warmer we can get. Again, the, the sun this time of the year in early May, if you don't block it, the sun's shining, you can get into the 70s fast. If you got a cloudy sky, you can stay relatively cool. So sun makes a big difference on this forecast. And I'm telling you right now, if we get breaks in there, that's where we can see, I guess, somewhat of a bust in the forecast on temperature where they could spike. Right now, we'll go with lower 70s. We'll keep an isolated shower chance to forecast. Basically have to because the moisture levels will remain a little higher there on uh, Derby Day. So it wouldn't take much to get a shower going, but overall, it looks good. The extended outlook is filled with 80-degree temperatures, summer weather. Weather. Coming our way with a daily chance for showers and thunderstorms. Live here again, right on the rail. Uh, just saw Wonder Wheel go by. So Wonder Wheel is out here on the track. I saw two fills, uh, two fills briefly. The one of the Derby contenders. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen him since, so I don't know if that's a bad sign <laughs> for me. But uh, well, I'll keep an eye on this, and uh, of course, I'll let you know who else that shows up here in the next few minutes. Sounds good, Brian. I yeah. love that trend that that new model had, that new model run, showing things a little bit more south. But the clouds are yeah. still going to be a factor, which I think is good for all of the Instagram photos because you don't have to worry about that sun running your eyes. Yes, so. and we were saying that announcer Travis Stone, who's mm -hmm. going to be up in the booth calling the races, he probably loves that too because <laughs> when the horses come around and if the sun is out, it can Really, yeah, that glare. Yeah, that glare can really impact you. Uh, there is a wonderful place here on the backside called the Backside Learning Center. If you come to the backside, it is truly like a little city. Mm -hmm. It really is. You can see where everyone lives, there's a church, everything on the backside. And of course, that Backside Learning Center is so special. And that is where Olivia Russell is this morning talking about some of the amazing work that they do. Hey, good morning, Shannon and Tawana. Yeah, when you come to the backside, you don't realize how much is actually back here because I think so many of us are focused on the horses and the races and out there, but there's just so much more to life. So I have Peyton and Andrew with me with the Backside Learning Center. You all seem like you can provide a lot of different services. What do you all do for people? Um, so the mission of the Backside Learning Center is providing support and resources in a safe, welcoming environment for the diverse community of backside workers and their families. So what kind of programs do you all offer for these families? We offer a huge array of programs. Um, we are basically almost like a community center, a home away from home. So our services start at reception. So people come in the door, we welcome them with, you know, um, a big smile. We have free coffee. Um, we offer, you know, help with whatever problem that may arise be that translation support, legal referrals, health referrals. Um, and then every Monday morning, we have a fresh food market uh, located at the front gate. This is in collaboration with Theater to Care Food Bank. Um, and we have um, English classes um, with 
in collaboration with JCPS. We've got a parent support group. A lot of different, a lot of different things. things. I could go on and on. <laughs> so, Andrew, I've got to ask you, what's it like to be able to support these families, be around these people, and help them with just everyday life? Um, it's really cool. I think it's really interesting because, you know, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, and I would always known about the Derby and the front side. I had never really known much about the back side until I started volunteering and tutoring here. When I started working here, I think I thought it was just really interesting, not only to be able to be a part of something, this, this very diverse community. There's over a thousand people that work back here, almost 600 people that live back here. You know, a community that's not only so integral to the success of the thoroughbred industry, but also like the city of Louisville and I think the city's identity and economy. Well, thank you all so much for all the work you do too. So we talked about the adults right now and coming up in about 30 minutes, we're going to talk about the kids they help because they're our future out there. But thank you all so much for joining us this morning. For now, reporting live at the backside, Olivia Russell, Wave News. More Sunrise at the Downs right after this. Here's a look at the current Kentucky Lottery jackpots. The Kentucky Lottery, over $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. Wave News is sponsored by Window World. When people depend on us, we depend on the Wave Storm Tracking Team. Everybody on our team has the weather app because they gave us accurate forecasts and the reasons to trust them. The UofL Equine Program helps build your career. The classes, networking, and experiences I had at UofL's Equine Program accelerated my career as an on-air personality for racing and equestrian. When it comes to horses, we mean business. Visit our website to learn more. Confidence is a certified pre-owned Hyundai from Oxmoor Hyundai. New car confidence with pre-owned pricing. Wrapped in a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Peace of mind and America's best warranty. That's Oxmoor Hyundai and iPhoneHyundai.com. Enjoying the sunshine and fresh air can be hard for many of us. Advanced ENT and Allergy is the regional leader in upper airway care. From allergies, sinus problems, sleep apnea, hearing health, and more, our medical team treats everyone like family. Advanced ENT and Allergy offers same-day appointments, and for many, no referral is needed. Our outstanding team of physicians, along with state-of-the-art technology, can get you breathing right, sleeping well, and feeling better sooner. Go to advancedentandallergy.com for your appointment. Eight locations. Federal Ammunition and KY Gunco are proud to host the first Kentucky Elk and Outdoor Fest, May 13th at KY Gunco in Bardstown, the official unveiling of Kentucky's Elk Draw winners. Limited tickets will sell fast. Go to KYOutdoorFest.com for tickets and more. And they're off. He broke all the records in 1973. And in 2023, he still holds them. And the crowd goes wild. Fifty years later, and the legend that started in Louisville is coming home. Relive the story of Secretariat, only at Kentucky Derby Museum. This sign means another home is getting a new look. We're here to earn your trust, your business, and your referrals. We believe in serving our customer rather than selling. As the Owens Corning preferred installer, we even offer a lifetime warranty. Call now for a free roof inspection and 10% off your new roof. Or if we find storm damage, we'll even work with your insurance company to get your roof paid for. When your home is ready for a new look, give us a call for a free estimate. New look, giving you more than you paid for. If you're in an automobile accident, it can cause pain and financial distress. Some of the big law firms take 40% of your settlement. I believe you deserve the lion's share. That's why at Desmond Law, we give you more. My fees are less. Call me on my cell phone for your free consultation. No matter how loud the thunder, it's no match for the Wave Storm Tracker. As it heads into the storm. Sponsored by Oxmoor 4. UofL's equine program provides training in an accredited college of business. The full breadth of business school classes provided a well-rounded understanding of the business world and set me up for success in my career at Churchill Downs. When it comes to horses, we mean business. Visit our website to learn more. Ready. That's it right there. <laughs> Tawana was just saying that sunrise is going to be beautiful. And boy, you're right. It is gorgeous. It is 624. Maybe you're getting ready to head out here for Thurby. You're going to have a lot of friends with you. <laughs> yeah, and it's not just Thursday. It is, yes, Thurby. For the 10th year in a row, we're going to be showcasing everything Kentucky 
Thurby. So absolutely incredible showcase. Thurby celebrates Kentucky's culture of bourbon, bluegrass, and racing. Horse racing fans will be able to hear blue, bluegrass music in the paddock, the, drink the finest bourbon, oh, and yeah. of course, watch top-level horse racing. So Churchill Downs gates open at 11 this morning. First post time is 1245, and Thurby tickets are still available on KentuckyDerby.com. They start without res reserved seating at $34. And if you see my fiancé out here, just make sure you say hi. Tell him yeah. his outfit looks nice, too. <laughs> yeah, so come on out. Have a great time. The weather is going to be fantastic today. So on Derby Day, we found out Patrick and Mahomes will be giving the Riders Up call. Last year that honor went to Louisville native, rapper, superstar, he does everything, entrepreneur, Jack Harlow. And now look at this. He has his own hometown hero banner. If you want to check it out, it's on OK Storage Building right on East Broadway. And wow, he was in town yesterday for the unveiling of that. He has a new album out called Jackman, and it's some of the songs have references to Louisville and Kentucky. If someone could ask me if I would rather have a Grammy or this, I would choose this a million times. I think I've had this epiphany over the last year or so that, you know, if I don't nurture what was here for me from the beginning, you know, there's a chance you can end up with nothing. Don't you just love him? His mom and dad were there too for this. And he stopped to take pictures with his fans. He also announced a new nonprofit that will support a number of organizations in Louisville. And we hear he's going to be here at the uh, Barnstable Brown Gala on Friday night and potentially at another gala, too. Mm. And we're going to be covering it all, Tawana. Of course, with all the celebrities in town, including Jack Harlow and uh, Chris Pine, too. Yes, can't forget about him. <laughs> can't forget about him. We'll take you to the red carpet during Waves Night at the Gala special. That's going to be tomorrow night from 9 to 11. So tune in. Maybe just dress up at home as well. We'll make it fun. Right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's Oaks Night. You need to do it. If you're wondering who won the great steamboat race, well, we have that news for you. It is the <laughs> Belle of Louisville taking those silver antlers. That race on the Ohio River pitting the Belle of Louisville against the Belle of Cincinnati and the American Countess from Memphis. But the Belle has won the KDF Great Steamboat Race more than 30 times since it began back in 1963. And we spoke to one of the captains. They, they've done all the work to get this boat up and ready. I was just over a showboat somewhere. And then we had Captain Nick Lukashevsky. He was at the wheel of the whole cruise, so he's the one that won the boat. Race. Yeah. This was the 60th year for this race, and those are the antlers right there. Oh, those are so gorgeous. They really are pretty, right? They really Want are. In your house. Uh, I mean, if they would like to let me borrow them for a while, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a live look at Churchill Downs from our SkyTrack camera this morning as that sun is coming up. It is chilly out here, but beautiful weather in the forecast. For today, we'll have a lot more of Sunrise at the Downs after the break. If you're hurt, give me a call. It's free, and we believe we can help. When people depend on us, we depend on the wave storm tracking team. Everybody on our team has the weather app because they gave us accurate forecasts and the reasons to trust them. I've never been more excited about our rugs. With new rugs arriving weekly, finding your perfect rug has never been easier. Stop by. Let's fix them out. We'll deliver. Take a few days, then decide. It's just that easy. Annabelle's Oriental Rugs, the perfect rug at the perfect price. I wasn't able to do something that I love because of my foot pain. I wasn't able to go on hikes. I got these arch supports years ago, and they are still really helping and still making such a difference. See for yourself with the free personalized arch support fitting at the Goodfeet store. It's always on the road, ready for the next severe weather threat. The most advanced storm tracker, built to keep you safe. The Wave Storm Tracker, sponsored by Oxmoor Ford Lincoln. I'm Nick Kramer. Not all heating and air conditioning companies are alike. There's a difference. The difference is people, and the difference is service. At Prudential, we have the best people and provide the most reliable service. You can depend on it. Give us a call. I think you'll see the Prudential difference. At Prudential, our job is not complete until you are completely satisfied. 
At Kentucky and a Gun Store, we can make sure you're fully prepared. We offer a large selection of high-quality firearms and show you how to operate and maintain your new peace of mind. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff will help make buying your new firearm a seamless experience. Don't forget Kentucky and a Gun Store is a Sig Sauer Elite dealer with one of the largest selections of ammo and accessories in the area. The all-new Kentucky and a Gun Store, 5508 Highway 62 in Jeffersonville. Keep your home's exterior protected with Menard's great selection of exterior paints and stains. Dutch Boy Exterior Stain and Sealer is dirt and scuff resistant to preserve the wood's natural beauty and begins repelling rain in just four hours after application. Pick up a gallon for $31.99 after sale price and rebate. Try Cabot Premium Stains and Finishes for unbeatable quality and protection against weathering for your exterior wood surfaces. Australian Timber Oil is $49.98 plus 11% off. Save big money at Visit the James B. Beam Distilling Company May 4th through 6th for a weekend full of special tasting experiences, live music, food, and cocktails. Join master distillers Fred and Freddie No celebrating horse racing in Kentucky. Go to beamdistilling.com for tickets. What if there was something you could do that would instantly update your home, took minutes to install, and you wouldn't have to lift a finger? Would you do it? At Annabelle's Oriental Rugs, that's what we do. Let's get started. Annabelle's Oriental Rugs, the perfect drug, the perfect price. Live this morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise of the Downs. Sun is coming up. It is a gorgeous morning here. We're coming to you live from the backside of Churchill Downs as you're looking at the new and very fancy First Turn Club. It is a gorgeous spot to watch the derby from because you'll have the twin spires and just an incredible view of the track. Brian Gibbs up against the rail right now and he saw Oaks contender Wonder Wheel out there. And what I find so interesting about Wonder Wheel, mm -hmm. trained by Mark Cassie, mm -hmm. and then his son, Norm, has a horse in the Oaks too, South Lawn. So can you imagine going up against your parents? I wonder what th that dinner conversation is like. I know, like. I wonder. We're like, mm, son, I'm not talking to you <laughs> until derby is over. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. So Brian is out there right now. Is Wonder Wheel still out there on the track? I've seen him. I haven't seen her in a while. In the past few moments, she went back quickly, then went back and looks to the stable there. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, a lot of folks, a lot of media are here. We also have a lot of spectators still hanging out here at the rail itself on the backside. Friends or family, I'm sure, of those that are here uh, at, uh, at Church Hill, trying to stay warm, even the little ones, all bundled up here this morning, uh, enjoying the show as we have some of the contenders sitting in the track here on this uh, Thurby morning. All right, it is chilly outside, but look at that beautiful sunrise. It's about to develop here very, very soon. Current temperatures have been running generally in the 40s right now. We're at 45. A lot of 30s are showing up outside the city limits, and that's it. We're going to start to warm up rapidly from here on out. Temperatures jump quickly in the 60s and then 70s this afternoon. I still think, again, it's going to be one of the best uh, Thurbys for the area. So hopefully you have a chance to get out to the track today. Much more in the Oaks and Derby set up in a few more minutes. Tawana and Shannon. Thank you so much. So we have Jessica Whitehead with mm -hmm. the Derby Museum here right now, and she has gloves on, not Thank because Thank she's cold, it. but because you have something very yes. important and priceless here that you've been holding and carrying in you. We don't want fingerprints on it. That's right. Yeah, this is a really special piece that I'm bringing on today. This is the 1925 Kentucky Derby Trophy, and the Derby Trophy was designed in 1924, so this is right there at the beginning when this uh, cup was released. Mm -hmm. And this is very special because ever since this point, basically the same dyes and same molds that were used to make this are still used to this day. That's right. It's what makes this trophy so special. This is a trophy that's really an icon of the Kentucky Derby, and it's something that is so recognizable, just like those twin spires. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows the Kentucky Derby Gold Cup, uh, and really the only change from the trophy that's going to be given in the winter circle uh, this week uh, is that the horseshoe has been flipped around um, oh, from so this part right here. Yeah, so if you see here on the 1925 trophy, it's upside down, mm -hmm. um, and so your luck is running out. They decided to change that in the 2000s, um, but yeah, so now the horseshoe faces the opposite direction. Interesting, and this is pure gold. Yes, this is 14 karat solid spun gold, and it takes about six months to wow, make this wow. baby. Yeah, so, and it's about three pounds, uh, so oh yeah, so wow. it's a big, big girl. Um, what is the, the writing?
exciting, Jessica, because we, we're getting a shot of it, but we can't really see what it is. Yeah, sure. So um, this is the engraving that's normally on most of uh, these that gives the year of the Derby. It gives mm -hmm. the winner. It gives the purse. The purse here was $50,000, oh. so a little bit different than before. <laughs> and, um, yeah, a mile and a quarter. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, it still says the Kentucky Jockey Club, and that's actually um, when Churchill Downs still owned Latonia mm -hmm. um, and other uh, major racetracks, and so that was a very cool little piece of history on there, too. And this is the only solid gold trophy in the U.S. That's right, yeah, which is so cool. So not only is this one of the longest-running um, sporting events in American history, this is also, yeah, it has the special trophy that uh, solid gold. Yeah. The hand would have touched that. The history on it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And this was one, and you said, I don't know if you could have read it, it's won by Flying Ebony. Flying yeah, Ebony. Flying Ebony, 1925, and this was actually donated to our museum um, and uh, by the great-granddaughter of the person who owned Flying Ebony. So it carries with it that really cool family history, and uh, yeah, so not only uh, that beautiful visual history of this trophy, but also that family history of Flying Ebony's as well. How many derby trophies are made? Is it because does, who, who gets it? The owner and then the trainer gets the smaller version, the jockey? That's correct. So the gold cup is going to the owner, okay. uh, and then there are three smaller sterling silver trophies that are replicas of this that go to the winning breeder, trainer, and jockey each year. Why did another breeder got one, too? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. Jessica, thank you so much, and if you would like to see this up close, mm -hmm. you can do so by just going to the Derby Museum. It'll be open on Sunday, and 50% off all Derby 149 merch mm -hmm. that day. Absolutely. <laughs> I love a deal. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you got me with the sale there, yeah, right? Exactly. And Olivia Russell's on the backside of Churchill Downs right now, right now at the Backside Learning Center. They do some amazing work there. So what kind of work do they do? Well, Shannon and Tawana, it's all about supporting these families who live on the backside because there are so many people back here who call this home, and it's about building that community. So, of course, we want to focus on the kids. So, Andrew, what kind of programs do you all offer for kids? So, um, yeah, so initially when the backside learners are in Backside Learning Center began, it was mostly focused on the work of racetrack workers, um, providing programs to them, but then there was a realization that there needed to be programs not just for backstretch workers, but their families and the youth. So one of the thing, programs that we provide is after school youth programming called Front Runners, uh, a lot of uh, tutoring for not only tutoring, but homework help, but just different activities, social and emotional learning. Also provide a, a plethora of summer, ex, uh, different summer camp experiences, providing transportation to and from, helping kids sign up uh, to a bunch of different summer camps throughout the year. We also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one tutoring with a focus on literacy recently. Um, and that's, that's been a huge um, emphasis in all of our different programming. We also have started a new uh, you, a teen support group called Crescento Juntos, which is a group of, I think, about 11 to 17 or 12 to 18 year old kids um, who not only are able to just learn about issues in the community but are starting to kind of create plans and different uh, steps for change uh, within their actual community. And you all even had something this weekend, Dia del Nino. Tell me about what you all did for those kids to celebrate them. Absolutely. So at our um, second location at Be uh, Beachfront Baptist Church, we held a party. You know, it was a community celebration. We had um, a piñata, we had um, karaoke. Um, we, it, it was just because, you know, you celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day here at the States, and, but in, in Mexico and Guatemala they celebrate the Day of the Child. And so it was just, it was just a day full of, of youthful and fun activities. We had um, Staranuri from um, Kentucky um, Center for the Arts mm -hmm. um, led a wonderful art activity with the kids, and it was just full of uh, just a lot of fun and laughter. I love that. We've got to have some fun and laughter and celebrate those kids. Thank you all so much for the great work you all do, too. Shannon and Tawana, I want to send things back to you all. Thanks, Olivia. So, of course, we're focusing on the backside, but also we can't really forget what's going on all around Churchill Downs. Is they're implementing some pretty new and interesting technology. Yeah, some new technology to try to cut down on the noise, the noise for the people and for the horses, too. Kathleen and Josh Nicky joining us live with more on this.
Hey, Shannon, Sunbelt Rentals is really doing something special out here on the backside. We've got Lee joining us here to tell us a bit more. Uh, right now, we're standing under some, some gorgeous light, courtesy of y'all. <laughs> Glad to be here. Um, What's special about this light? So this light here, this is something we've been uh, we've introduced into the market here recently with uh, zero emissions uh, and uh, zero noise, which is a big deal for the horses back here on the backside that we've been able to do and, and implement this. This is our first year to be able to implement this with Churchill Downs. Uh, it's very practical. So besides the, the lighting, what else do you guys have that's that's electric now instead of gas power? Yeah, certainly. We've been able to introduce uh, some forklifts mm -hmm. out here as well that, uh, are, that are also new to the market, a new product from JTB that we've been able to to move to move items around out here and some of the product that they need to move from, from place to place with less noise, less emissions. You have been working on these products. You approached Churchill with this opportunity to cut down on the noise, cut down on the fumes. Why was it important for you, for Sunbelt, to come to Churchill with this? You know, Churchill is such a, a special place in, in, to Louisville. Uh, and having been here in Louisville for so long, uh, we wanted to, to be able to implement this in a place that just made sense. Uh, it, it was it's practical. Um, not just in there, the, the market is, is asking for these types of things, and we just saw this as a place that we were able to, to partner with and to show off what we're able to do uh, in saving fuel, saving the emissions, uh, and, and saving noise. Yeah, well, we certainly appreciate it, and uh, clearly, so do the horses. <laughs> Uh, we will see you right back here for Sunrise at the Downs after the break. No matter how loud the thunder, it's no match for the Wave Storm Tracker. As it heads into the storm. Sponsored by Oxmoor Ford. The Cherry House Furniture Gallery's Spring into Saving Sale is here. Save 45% off MSRP on all of the furniture in our store. We have the quality, styles, and selection you want. Come see us at Cherry House Furniture Galleries in LaGrange. When it's time to replace your heating and air system, we know people want options. That's why you'll always get a free second opinion with BJ Heating and Cooling. Plus, for a limited time, get up to $750 off a new Bryant system. Call the experts you can trust at BJ Heating and Cooling. Updating your home? Let Corbin's Floors and Cabinets help with your project. Kitchen or bath remodel. Our flooring experts and cabinet designers can help you select the best cabinets, hardware, flooring, and area rugs to fit your space. Corbin's will give your home the highest quality at the best value. Shop the area's largest selection in our flooring and tile showrooms or our easy cash and carry warehouse. Talk to the experts at Corbin's Floors and Cabinets on the Dixie in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. We'll see you soon. Brian Schlonsky here with Scott Waldman of R&B Luxury Bath. Hey, for a limited time, we're offering $2,000 off your luxury bath project, plus great financing. If your bathroom is outdated, act now and get this special offer. Call R&B for your free estimate and have your bathroom installed next week. or the full group. These new scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery will get you moving. I only trust one place with my key. My key. They do the engines, the brakes, the tires, the oil, and I do the uncomfortable looming. Hello. I only trust my key with my key. My name's Christina Bissett, and I'm an attorney at Morgan & Morgan. A lot of the times clients will call in, they don't know what to do. It's our job to step in and really show them how easy it truly can be. If you're injured and you don't know what to do, go to ForThePeople.com. Now is the time to enhance your home during the Cherry House Furniture Gallery's Spring into Savings Sale. Save 45% off MSRP on all of the furniture in our store. Come to Cherry House Furniture Galleries in LaGrange. What a beautiful shot that is. 643, how can you not just fall in love with Kentucky <laughs> and Louisville and Churchill Downs this week? Maybe that's not such a great shot. But. <laughs> He's turning his back. Yeah. yeah. Turning the back. He's like, I've, I've, I've had enough. Um, we have a great interview right here. This is Ron Anderson. 
A lot of people may not know that jockeys have agents. Ron has been an agent for 50 years and represents years. two of the best jockeys. Lucky enough to have Joel Rosario and Johnny Velasquez now. Mm -hmm. um, both uh, on horses for the Derby with uh, optimistic chances. Mm -hmm. You know, anything can happen on this day. Mile and a quarter, 20 horse field, a lot of complications. So we're crossing our fingers and hoping things go well. And Johnny D will be on Reincarnate. Yes. And Joel Rosario will be on Disarm. I think we have some video too of those horses. Great. But uh, so what is your what do you you do? What I'm do like do? an actor's yeah. agent between mm -hmm. the owner and the trainer and the jockey. I, I get them work, basically, mm -hmm. and I have to put them on the right horses on the right days in the right cities sometimes. It's a bit of a juggling act, but they're both summons all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they're world-class people and world-class cross riders. They're like like working for Michael Jordan, if you can understand. <laughs> they're, they're very elite athletes and riders and race riders. Mm -hmm. so. And how do you filter through maybe all those requests coming in? Because they are absolutely elite riders. That's that's the hard part is to keep them happy first by being mm -hmm. on the right one. Yeah. Then you got to keep the owners and the trainers happy too, so so they'll come back. And it's, sometimes it's not easy. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So explain to us that sometimes a jockey will change horses um, a couple of days before the race. Why does that happen? Not generally a couple of days before, but if sometimes if you get a better offer and you recognize that it is, you try and be political and get off one to ride another other one so that's the hardest part of what I do basically mm -hmm. uh, it's not finding the horses sometimes it's keeping the people happy and uh, then I'm good but I'm fortunate too. Wow. Yeah. So you have won 39 Breeders' Cup as yes. a jockey's agent, 15 yeah. Triple Crowns, yeah. three derbies. Yeah. I mean, how did you get into this? I mean it, it's not a typical business. Kind of a whim. I was going to school, wanted to go to UCLA to law school and I went to work for somebody uh, in 1973 that kind of nobody really wanted kind of on a whim to take a break from school and fortunate since then, very fortunate. And since you've been in the, the business for 50 years, how have you seen the industry change during Oh, that? it's crazy. You know, TBG came in in 1999, so it's a nationwide broadcast. You know, I was telling somebody last night at a function, we didn't have any contact with the East Coast. The East Coast didn't have, I grew up in California. Mm -hmm. There was no communication like you read about who won big stakes on the opposite coast but when TVG came in now everybody has access to gambling and watching and it's a you know a nationwide and now it's become a worldwide uh, industry that everybody observes so it's it's exciting well good luck to you on Derby Day with your two your two riders Johnny V and Joel Rosario and you have some sunglasses I see I don't know will, will he be able to use them later let's hope I think so Oh, it's going to be bright and sunny here in a matter of minutes. Actually, sunrise taking place. It's going to be a gorgeous Thurby. The complete outlook for Thurby, Oaks, and Derby coming up in just 30 seconds. With Hardin County Honda, one of the things that I can definitely vouch for is that we're here to serve them. And not just serve them, but do it honorably and respectably. We're family-owned and operated. We have been for 44 years. As soon as they greet you with a smiling face, they take care of you. We're their go-to for service, collision center, sales, anything that they need for their cars. I want them, when they walk out, to know that they had the best service ever. Absolutely gorgeous morning here on the backside of Churchill Downs. It is the morning of Thurby. It is, I think it's going to be really packed today because based on the weather outlook right now, this looks to be the most guaranteed good-looking day. Oaks and Derby. We got some wiggle room there. I'll explain, but right now there is at least a chance for some rain, more of a cloud issue. It looks like more than anything it with Oaks into Derby. Uh, currently outside, temperatures are on the chilly side. We don't have the strong wind. Thank goodness, it's been we've had enough of that. But because we don't have wind, the heat down effect shows a little more right now. We're Louisville, 45 at least right down the road at Ollie International. Temperatures generally away from the water center and the Snyder start to drop off into the 30s, mid-30s in some areas this morning. But that's it. We're going to start to reverse things from here on out. Now that we got the sun about to pop above the horizon, it's going to be a bright and sunny setup, just a few clouds for this afternoon. And that's about all she wrote on the cloud cover side, which is good. And look at the thermometer response. Temperatures easily jumped into the 70s, low to mid-70s. 
as we enter this uh, 30. Now, Oaks, this is the most updated model run. Now, I will say, this has been flipping around. At times it shows rain here, sometimes it do doesn't, moves it away, and it comes back again. That's the issue here is the modeling is having a tough time trying to figure out how much moisture will be in the air as we head into later Oaks afternoon. Cloud cover is a pretty good bet for the day, but that will make a difference on temperature. The more we can hold off in the thicker clouds, the warmer we can get. You see it's trying to get us in the mid-70s now with a mostly cloudy setup, so there is still a good chunk of Oaks daytime here. Much of the races that we'll have on Oaks, I think, will be in fine shape. It's just the very end portion of the day, that little batch of moisture that scoots across southern Kentucky, whether or not that could give us a brief area of drizzle that could go all the way up here to Central Avenue. It's still a big if right now. Uh, that, that cloud cover will likely linger into Derby Eve and early on uh, Oak, or into uh, Derby Day itself, I should say, from Oaks uh, night. Here is the Oaks hourly outlook, and we'll keep the rain chance low, but it is there as we get into the afternoon hours. Temperatures, again, will be dependent on the amount of cloud cover we'll see. Derby Day, same story. Small chance for shower temperatures, highly depending on cloud cover. If we get enough sun breaks, we'll get back into the 70s. Mid-70s are still possible for Derby. I would not rule that out uh, if the sun comes out fast enough. So it could still be an improving setup in the next 24 or 36 hours. So we may still get lucky. We need some good luck on our side for once. Temperatures get into the 80s mid-80s for part of the next week with a stormy setup, certainly on um, tap uh, like for the uh, extended there all the way to about Mother's Day. All right, I'll have much more on that uh, coming up. Here in just a few more minutes, guys, I'll send it back to you right now as we're still waiting for uh, a lot of the contenders to come out of here on the track here very soon. Yeah, we have that reserve time for the Oaks and Derby contenders, 7.30 to 7.45. And there's been a lot of talk about the two Japanese horses in this year's Derby, mm -hmm. Derma Sudagake and Continuar. And this is Kate Hunter, who's got a fascinating job. You're from Nashville, Tennessee, but you fell in love with Japan culture and horse racing and basically created your own job. <laughs> Um, I'm just kind of living proof that uh, whatever you fall in love with in middle school. There we go. Sorry, I forgot to. Now we can hear you. I'm, I'm living proof that whatever you fall in love with in middle school, you can make a career if you try hard enough. So yeah, what is that. your uh, job title and yeah. what do you do? Uh, well, technically I have my own company in Japan, Motor Guy mm -hmm. Racing, where I, I recruit um, Japanese horses for the United States. My um, I work with the Breeders' Cup, um, Churchill Downs, Keeneland, the Triple Crown. I work some with the Stronic Group and um, New York. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to try and bring as many um, Japanese horses to J to the United States so that they can, you know, have more options and travel the world. And they, they love going to Hong Kong, Dubai, and places like that. But now it's time for them to come over more to the United States, and that's been my goal for the past few years. And what do you think is the biggest difference between Japanese racing and American racing? Well, the, they focus a lot more on turf. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like in the States where you've got a, a, a dirt horse that just isn't quite good enough. You send them to the turf. Mm -hmm. They do the opposite in Japan. A turf horse it's not quite so good, send them to the dirt. Um, so um, I'm trying to take these, and they don't really have that big of a strong dirt circuit in Japan, so I'm trying to give those dirt horses a kind of a second life, a whole new option um, for them to be able to reach out and do, and the best place to do that is the United States. Your horses breezed on Tuesday. Uh, a lot of the U.S. trainers were very shocked about that. We would never do that. I uh, can't believe it. Which they, they were really, You were really working those horses. What's the philosophy? Everyone's been talking about how the training practices are so different. Mm -hmm. Well, I think ultimately speaking, time-wise, out of the out of the stalls, probably not that much different than it is in the United States. I think the difference is they do it under tack most of the time. So mm -hmm. instead of hand walking, hot walking, they're doing they'll it all. Rider. They'll do it all over the rider on the back. Mm -hmm. And so, and they've been taking advantage of the big shoot that they have here at Churchill Downs to be able to do that. Churchill Downs has been very kind to let us use that during the breaks. Um, and so the Japanese horses have been able to maintain their typical out of the stall rider on their back style that they're used to back home um, and these midweek typically honestly speaking in Japan they normally breeze on a Wednesday mm -hmm. uh, but they also race on Sunday and J the big races are all on Sunday in Japan okay so I guess you're sticking with that schedule the, Kate. The, the, it hasn't hasn't uh, it's been working for the Japanese so far all over the world so no reason to stop now all right, well thank That's you great. so much we'll see if this is the year that a Japanese
Japanese horse wins the Kentucky oh. Derby. And apparently that's one of our Japanese contenders right there. Uh, yeah, the white jacket, that's Mandarin Hero, and the, the chestnut next to him, that's Continuar. Okay, oh, so Mandarin is Hero is and also eligible. Not sure if, uh, on 22 right now on the list, so not sure yeah. if it will make it in. All right, Kate, thank you so much. Best of luck and enjoy your derby today. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's toss it over right now to Brian. I'm going to talk a little bit more about not just Brian, but also <laughs> not in the horses with the beautiful weather that's in the forecast for today as we look forward to Thurby as the gates open at 11 a.m. We'll have much more of Sunrise at the Downs after the break. When people depend on us, we depend on the WaveStorm tracking team. Everybody on our team has the weather app because they give us accurate forecasts and the reasons to trust them. Attention all HVAC service techs and installers. Production Heating and Cooling is hiring now. Start earning the excellent pay and great benefits you deserve. A clean driving record, drug screen, and background check are required. Call Production Heating and Cooling today. Come see the Louisville Zoo in a whole new light with wildlife around the world. Grab your sweetheart, family, or plan a group night out to experience thousands of dazzling new lanterns. Bringing to life famous landmarks, plants, and animals from around the globe. It's the largest lantern festival in the region. Wildlife Around the World runs Thursdays through Sundays now through May 21st. Get your tickets today at LouisvilleZoo.org. When people think of our area, thoroughbreds come to mind. And urban. Our roots are deep here. And we're proud of our old Kentucky home of the folks who live here and the vehicles we built here. You see, we're more than just bluegrass country. We're also blue oval country. Proud partner of the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. To be a contender, it takes commitment, determination, and the will to win. and Isaac. We've recovered over two billion dollars for our clients. We know how to fight and we know what it takes to win. One call, that's all. Call 877-ALL-SEVENS. Dad, I, I messed up. Are you okay? What, what's wrong? I just filled up with E15 because it's cheaper, but is that bad for my car? <sighs> You're fine. That's perfectly safe for your car. Why was it cheaper? It has a little more ethanol than regular gas. Oh, okay. Thanks, Dad. Next time you fill up, choose unleaded 88 or E15. Good for your wallet, good for your car, good for our planet. Brought to you by Kentucky Corn Farmers and Dads Everywhere. Did you know that you could be losing money with your current heating and cooling system? Call Production Heating and Cooling today to learn how you can make your home more energy efficient and save money, too. Production Heating and Cooling. You can count on us. It has been such an incredible morning out here. If you are coming out to enjoy Thurby, the gates open at 11 o'clock. The first race is at 12.45. And, Brian, it looks good, right? It's going to be in the 70s today. Get out here and enjoy, guys. That is Wonderful. Fun. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Oaks Day. Have a Get live streaming news, 24-hour weather, investigations, podcasts, and more. All for free with WaveNow. Watch on Roku 